Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another week of Mainly Music. Hope you've had a great weekend and you're looking forward to singing today. Are you ready? Well, let's sing our good morning song. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. We're so glad you're here today. Good morning to you. Now, for our first song this week, we're going to have five little speckled frogs. Can you see them? I've got five here. I'm going to try and pop these on my fingers. Can you tell me what colour the frogs are? That's right, they're green. And do frogs like water? They do. Sometimes frogs like ponds. You can see them hopping in and out. So we've got five little frogs here and they're going to be on a speckled log. Now, I don't have a speckled log. I don't know whether you do. And if you don't have any frogs, that's fine. You can just use your fingers. And my speckled log is going to be my hand, my arm. Can you see? It's got a few speckles on. Are you ready? Let's begin. There we go. Looking at the camera. Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Whee! Just four left on the speckled log. Can you see? Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into whee! where it was nice and cool. Then there were three green speckled frogs. Just three left. Do you like eating some delicious bugs? Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool. Whee! Was nice and cool. Then there were two green speckled frogs. Just two left. I wonder what they're thinking. What's for tea? Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped, whee! Where it was nice and cool. Then there was one green speckled frog, just one left. There we go, he can sit on this frog, on his log. One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool. Whee! It was nice and cool. Then there were no green speckled frogs. Where have they gone? They've all jumped into the pool. That's one good way to stay nice and cool. Now this next song, we're going to have a teddy bear. And I've got a teddy bear here. Do you have a teddy bear at home maybe? And this is a new teddy bear. This is a mainly music teddy bear. And we'll find out more about him when we come back and gather together again. Okay. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Ooh. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Can you pretend to be a teddy bear and touch the ground? Teddy bear, teddy bear, dance on your toes. Ooh. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your nose. Can you touch your nose? Teddy bear, teddy bear, pat your head. Teddy bear, teddy bear, go to bed. Do you like to snuggle up with your teddy bear sometimes? Oh, got to wake up. Teddy bear, teddy bear, wake up now. And teddy bear, teddy bear, take a bow. There we go. Take a bow. You put one hand here, one hand behind here, and you bow down. Can you do that? There we go. I'm going to pop teddy bear back. We might use teddy bear again next week. Now for our next song, we have two little dicky birds sitting on a wall, one called Peter, one called Paul. And they go off on little adventures and other animals go off on adventures as well and they come back. Let's sing about it, shall we? Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall, one named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter, fly away, Paul. Fly back, Peter. Fly back, Paul. Two little caterpillars 
sitting on a branch. Can you put a caterpillar here and a caterpillar there? One named Betty and one named Blanche. Crawl away, Betty. Crawl away, Blanche. Crawl back, Betty. Crawl back, Blanche. Two little goldfish swimming in a tank. Can you make your hands like goldfish? One named Freddy and one named Frank. Swim away, Freddy. Swim away, Frank. Swim back, Freddy. Swim back, Frank. Well, there you go. Do you sometimes like to go on a bit of an adventure? Our next song is going to talk about going on an adventure. A bit of a bear hunt. But do you know that, parents, it's equally important for our kids when they go away and have lots of fun, maybe playing outside in the garden, to welcome them back in. And our Think Spot here talks just about that. To let them know that they are welcome back and give them a big hug and ask them all about their adventures. It's part of valuing who they are and valuing the sense of adventure and creativity that God has given them. Let's do our bear hunt song, shall we? Are you ready? It's quite a fast one, this one. We're going to look for a bear, going to try and catch a big one. Are we scared? No, never. Beautiful day. You ready? Going on the bear hunt. Big one? We're going to catch a big one. I'm not scared. Are you scared? What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. Uh-oh. Grass. Long wavy grass. Can you go over it? Go over it. You can't go under it. We've got to go through it. Swish, 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 swish. Walking through the tall grass. We're going on a bear hunt, remember? On a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. Gonna catch a big one? I'm not scared. Are you scared? What a beautiful day! Uh oh! Mud! Ooey gooey mud! Can you go over it or under it? No, you can't go under it. We've got to go through it. Squelch, gooey, ooey, gooey. Oh, glad I'm wearing my welly boots. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. I'm not scared. I'm glad you're not either. It's a beautiful day. Uh oh. Water. Deep cold water. You have to swim, I think. Can't go over it. We can't go under it. We've got to swim through it. Swim, swim. Can you do some swimming with your hands? Well done. All through the water. Now, we're at the other side. Oh, it's a bear! Oh, oh, oh. Quick, back through the water. Swim, swim, swim. Back through the ooey gooey mud. You squelch. Ooh, through the grass, swish, move the grass swish, out of the way. Oh, we're back. Oh. Wow. It's good to be back home, isn't it? After an adventure like that. Wow. Oh, I'm all puffed out. Well, our next song is Dr. Knickerbocker. This is one of my favourites. Are you ready? Count to nine. Here we go. All the way to nine, Dr. Knickerbocker, Knickerbocker, number nine. He likes to dance. Do you like to dance? Let's get the rhythm of the hands. Can you clap? The rhythm of. Ready? Clap, clap. Now we've got the rhythm of the number nine. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got nine fingers. Dr. Knickerbocker, Knickerbocker, number nine. He likes to dance. Can you dance? The rhythm of the feet. You ready? Now we've got the rhythm. Can you stomp? Now let's get the rhythm of the number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dr. Knickerbocker, Knickerbocker, number nine. He likes to dance and he keeps in time. Now let's get the rhythm of the hips. Now we've got, can you do that? Wriggle your hips. Now we've got the rhythm of the number nine. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Doctor Knickerbocker, Knickerbocker, number nine. He likes to dance and he keeps in time. Now let's get the rhythm of the lips. Now we've got the rhythm of the lips. Now let's get the rhythm of the number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Woo! Doctor Knickerbocker, Knickerbocker, number nine. He likes to dance and he keeps in time. Now let's get the rhythm of the head. Now we've got the rhythm of the head. Now let's get the rhythm of the number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whew. Now you're going to need a drum, but most of you don't have drums lying around at home. So a bowl. Maybe a plastic bowl and a plastic spoon to bag it on will be good. Now I've got a drum here and we're going to do, ooh, it's a bit of a new song. It's called Everybody Play With Me, okay? And you'll need these and you're gonna do some other actions as well. So let's see how we go. I don't think we use the drum straight away. We're gonna have a bit of a shake. Are you ready? Everybody shake with me. Can you shake, shake with me? Shake with me, everybody shake with me, let's all shake together. Okay, you're going to tap nice and loudly, quietly on your drum. Tap with me, tap with me, tap with me, softly, softly tap with me, let's all tap together. Okay, you're going to do it a little bit louder this time. Loudly, loudly, bang with me. Bang with me. Bang with me. Loudly, loudly, bang with me. Let's all bang together. Okay, we'll pop the drums away. Can you move with me? Move with me. You move slowly, 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 you move with me, let's all move together. Okay, we're going to do some wiggling nice and quick, are you ready? Quickly, quickly, wiggle with me, wiggle around, wiggle with me, wiggle with me, quickly, quickly, wiggle with me, let's all wiggle together. Oh, well done. Some excellent wiggling there. Now, for our next song, we're going to use a scarf. If you've got a scarf or maybe a tea towel or something like that, and we're going to hold it here, and maybe you can do this with your other person, and they can hold that and you can row back and forth. Are you ready? Oh, let's get the words on the screen, shall we? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, can you see a crocodile? This one here. Huh? If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! Let's pop that down there. Row, row, row your boat. Gently round the bend Almost everything you do Is easier with a friend Rock, rock, rock your boat Gently side to side Be careful not to tip too far Or you'll fall in the tides Flush! Did you fall in the water? Hopefully not really For our next song this is a bit, another bit of a new one for us, mainly, but um, many of you will know it. It's about God making all these different animals and all the different noises they make. Did you know that cats went fiddle eye fee? No, I didn't either. Let's sing about it, shall we? Are you ready? Maybe you can make a cat like a sort of purring action. God made the cat when the earth was new. 
They looked at the cat and said, this is good. The cat said, fiddle I fee, fiddle I fee. I wonder what else God made. When the earth was new, he looked at the sheep and said, this is good. The sheep said, ba ba. The cat said, fiddle I fee, fiddle I fee. God made the goose when the earth was new. He looked at the goose and said, this is good. The goose said, squishy squashy. The sheep said, ba ba. The cat said, feel I fee, feel I fee. God made the horse when the earth was new. He looked at the horse and said, this is good. The horse said, nay, nay. The goose said, squishy, the goose say squishy, squashy. This one does. The cat said, feel I fee, feel I fee. Can you do cow horns? Earth was new. He looked at the cow and said, this is good. The cow said, moo, mm, moo. The horse said, nay, nay. The goose said, squishy, squashy. The sheep said, ma, ma. The cat said, feel I fee, feel I fee. God made the duck when the earth was new. He looked at the duck and said, this is good. The duck said, quack, quack. The cow said, moo, moo. The horse said, nay, nay. The goose said, squishy, squashy. The sheep said, ma, ma. The cat said, feel I fee, feel I fee. God made the pig when the earth was new. He looked at the pig and said, this is good. The pig said, griffy, gruffy. Duck said, quack, quack. The cow said, moo, moo. The horse said, nay, nay. The goose said, squishy, squashy. The sheep said, ma, ma. The cat said, feel I fee, feel I fee. Wow. Did you enjoy that song? That was a bit new for us, wasn't it? Well, here's to one that we know very well. Coming to the end of our session now, we're going to do Skinnamarinky. Are you ready? Here we go. Got your arms ready to roll. We roll one way, then the other. Skinnamarinky dinky dink, Skinnamarinky do. Ah, God loves you. Skinnamarinky dinky dink, Skinnamarinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening underneath the moon. Skinnamarinky dinky dink, Skinnamarinky do. I love you. Rinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. On the elbows, God loves you. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. God loves you. He loves you in the morning and in the afternoon. He loves you in the evening underneath the moon. Skinnamarinky dinky dink, skinnamarinky do. God loves you, yes he does. God loves, he loves you. I think that's amazing, that not only do our parents love us, and our family loves us, but God loves us. He made us, he knows us, and he loves us. We're almost at the end and we have our snail song. This is a great one for doing with your children and for leaning over and for tracing a pattern on their back. Are you ready? Mr. Snail, Mr. Snail, you leave a shiny silver trail so we can see where you have been. Slow, 
missed a snail. The rain, okay, it comes pitter patter, you ready? The rain comes falling, pitter patter, upon your hard, shiny back. The rain comes falling, pitter patter, slow, Mr. Snail. The sun, it comes, shining through, to brighten up your little room. The sun, it comes, shining through, slow, Mr. Snail. That's a nice one, isn't it? We're going to say goodbye. Are you ready? Goodbye everyone, goodbye everyone. We're so glad you, Ooh. we'll see you all next time for more music fun. Bye everybody. See you soon for our story. Go and grab some morning tea now and we'll see you very soon. Bye. We're going to read a story today called Cecil the Lost Sheep and we just want you to think about something. Do you have pets? How much do you love them? We've got pets haven't we Ryan? Yes. Do we love them a lot? Yes. We sure do. This book is called Cecil the Lost Sheep. You can see Cecil here. He's got his little hoof up. What sort of animals does this man have? Rabbits? No. He doesn't have rabbits. Giraffes? Well, he might have giraffes, but they don't get a mention in this story. Sheep? Yes, he has sheep. He is a shepherd. 100 sheep, to be exact, including Cecil. One day, Cecil was daydreaming. Boring, boring, boring. All I do is hang around with sheep, eat grass, wander down to the river for a bit of a drink and eat some more grass. Maybe I could run away and get a bike or join a band. Do you have a bike? Yes, I might have a bike. Do you have a bike? Cecil looked right. Cecil looked left. He jumped over his rock and hid. Can you see him peeking out? From behind the rock he snuck behind the tree and from behind the tree he ran over the hills to the mountains. Yes, to the mountains. He reached the mountains and discovered they were high and steep. Can you see how high and steep they are? Cecil was not deterred. He began climbing higher and higher and higher and it got steeper and steeper and steeper <sighs> he climbed and climbed until he couldn't climb up and he couldn't climb down you see poor little Cecil he's hanging upside down isn't he? Cecil was stuck who else is up there with Cecil just a birdie sat on the edge of the ledge and started thinking. I could shout for help, but what will happen if the shepherd finds me? He might whack me with his big stick. Crack! <clears throat> then grab me by the leg and drag me down the mountain. Bump, bump, bump. And tie me to a tree without any dinner. Oh dear. Back home, the shepherd was counting his sheep. One, Terry, two, Kevin, three, Bronwyn, four, Lucinda, 96, Meredith, 97, the other Meredith, 98, Amir, 99, Amelie, one, two, three, four, 96, 97, 98, 99. <gasps> Cecil is missing! 
the shepherd ran to the rock and found hoofprints leading behind the tree. He ran behind the tree and found hoofprints leading over the hills to the mountains. Yes, the mountains. The mountains were high and steep. The shepherd climbed higher and higher and it got steeper and steeper. When he thought he couldn't go any further and wasn't sure if he could climb back down, he heard a noise. Bah! Who do you think that is? Cecil! Cecil was saved. What did the shepherd do? Did he whack Cecil with his stick? Crack! No! Did he grab Cecil by the leg and drag him down the mountain? Bump! 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 No! He was so glad that he'd found his lost sheep that he put Cecil on his shoulders and carried him home. When they got home, did he tie Cecil to a tree without any dinner? No. Instead, he threw a huge party and everyone stayed up past their bedtime. Cecil, the lost sheep, had been found. Do you think the shepherd loved Cecil very much? Yeah. Well, there's someone who loves us very much. God loves us very much and he notices when we're missing and he comes to find us. And I hope you remember that one day when you need to.